Hi folks, quick update video here. Basically a, hey, what happened to postcard panorama? What's going on with that Connell Rad poem? And well, life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> so, hey, I have a video set up now, right after my audio setup crashed and burned, which, uh. Speaking of which, first, okay, let's talk setbacks. I was really pleased with the first episode of Postcard Panorama. Couldn't be happier with the piece Rosanna from Radio Northern Europe International sent. Go listen to their show if you haven't already. And I got some wonderful feedback, uh, lots of good reception reports. I'm still working on those. Um, and I got some good listener stories and poems lined up for February too. Then mid-January rolled around and I was hit by this confluence of annoying things. Um, laryngitis, thanks to Cedar Pollen. A weird back thing. I'm trying not to spend too much time in an office chair right now. And um, said, Mike, failing in static laden epic ways. It was terrible. <laughs> My voice is back, sort of. You can probably hear it's not great right now. Um, I'm getting the back taken care of and I'm working on replacing the mic as soon as I figure out which one I want to get. Um, all that to say that postcard panorama is on hold until spring. I'm going to regroup late March, see where I am. Um, honestly, looking at my other show, Short Wave, Short Poems, I'm probably going to need to do some fundraising. Um, I'll probably end up doing a Kickstarter for that to, just to pay for the poets in the airtime because my grant writing skills apparently leave a lot to be desired. I get grant. But anyway, it'll also give me time to contact folks about interviews for Postcard Panorama because I really do want to include more interview clips. So there's a setback there. I'm not really into self-help stuff, but I do have to say that, hey, in order to be set back, you do have to have made some progress in the first place. So I'm just gonna run with that. And as soon as I figure out what I'm gonna do with both shows, I'll send out an email to the mailing list and let the folks who have been so generous spreading the word about the show uh, know about what's happening. I do want to create something right now, especially that reminds us of connection and community. And so that's where I am with that. Bit of good news, um, the Connell Red poem that I talked about in an earlier video will appear in Fireside Fiction in their April edition to subscribers and online in June for everybody. I'll post a link to that on my website and maybe make a video about that poem about how I put it together and some of the research that I did for that. It's long, it's eight pages, it's, yeah, it's an eight page poem, it's very long, but um, got a lot of interesting stuff about Connell Rad in there and COVID. <laughs> and I just placed a couple of my poems in a series that I'm working on about the HARP project in Alaska, placed those in a journal, and I will talk about that whole series as the poems come out because I did a lot of research for that as well. Uh, particularly what the Heart Project is doing and some of the conspiracy theories around it. Uh, reading a lot of good stuff lately, and I got to interview Deborah Davitt about her novella in verse, Bounded by Eternity, um, that touches on war and traveling between our reality and mytho mythic worlds and Oberon. It's lovely and poignant, and I highly recommend it. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. What else? <laughs> Texas is doing the weird 72 degree weather followed by 27 degree weather and I am so ready for winter to be over. Um, and hopefully my voice to be back too. Um, anyway, I hope the weather is better where you are right now and if not, do stay safe. I'll keep you posted on all of my radio stuff and my poetry stuff. And um, if you have a story to share for a postcard panorama or a suggestion for someone to request an interview with, do send it my way. Um, because I am collecting all of those in hopes of getting this show back on track. Thanks for listening. Wishing you all happiness and health and 73s, y'all. <laughs>